Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooley here, a staff writer with business.com. Today we'll be walking you through Variato's anomaly alert functionality. Let's dive right in. So anomaly alerts can be a great way to detect when an employee is behaving out of character. Although it's not a feature that many competitors offer, it can be a great way to reduce risk and secure your organization. To create an anomaly alert, you'll first navigate to this alerts and policies tab and select add alert. So you can create an anomaly a few different ways. You can create one that compares the user to themselves. You can compare the user to a specific group, whether that be organizational group or an activity-based behavioral group that you select. For example, maybe marketing or finance group. For this one, we'll compare the user to themselves. You type the alert name at the top and then click next. Here, you can select what users it will apply to. For this demo, we'll just select all users. When creating an anomaly, you can choose from three different anomaly types, a document, an email, or resource usage. For example, a document anomaly can detect changes in document count, file size, printing, and outbound transfers. An email anomaly can detect changes in the number of emails or attachments sent, the number of BCCs sent, and the overall email size. It can also detect a change in language. So maybe the user is suddenly using more first person language or risky words in their emails. Since Variato also has the unique ability to track psycholinguistics, it can also detect changes in sentiment. So maybe the employee's tone has suddenly become negative in their emails. This was a cool feature that we didn't see and many other monitoring solutions offer. Lastly, on the resource pieces, those applications and they're using that are different or network share locations that may be accessing that are different. So for this demo, we'll create an anomaly around sent emails. So when we create this, the anomaly corridor of tolerance is that yellow bar. It's very easy to adjust the alert threshold. Every time you change this alert sensitivity threshold, you'll change that frequency of email alerts that you're gonna get about that tolerance or that corridor that's being exceeded. So since you don't know what you don't know, you might want to first start out with an extreme threshold to get an alert at every single anomaly that's outside the yellow bar. The baseline is that dark yellow line. So you can build like 30 days of baseline and then you can taper back as needed to reduce the number of emails that you're gonna receive based on that tolerance. And that's it. So once you set that sensitivity, you set the alert action to scan for alert conditions, either daily, hourly, or every alert. And in case you're wondering, this is what an anomaly report would look like. This report includes a list of employees and the activities that triggered an anomaly. So when we pull up a report or view, this is the type of report you're gonna get. It will give you details on what type of anomaly it is. This is on document tracking anomaly. You can also see that this is compared um, the user to herself. And you can see that there were multiple activities that were questionable. For example, one would be her normal baseline and three is her deviation. That's the excess that you wanna look at. And this would likely prompt you to start an investigation into this potentially risky employee. So that's how you create and view an anomaly alert with Variato. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business related content, subscribe to our channel.